Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal buyer's protection guarantee. Super predators. No conscience, no empathy. Love. We can talk about why it's they dead. ended up that way, uh. but first we have to bring them to heal. The irony, the government gave us drugs to sniff and smoke. Then incarcerated us when we distribute coke. Public housing where the richest folks with fancy furs. Don't name a in the jets with expensive coats. They made a profit off of economics. Would I speak your favorite artist and change the topic? I'm Huey Newton. Revolution can't wait to start it. You Cam Newton was a panther turned patriotic. Let's talk about my wife in my head at the time, Lynn Q. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about <laughs> Almighty oh, Isis, Isis, Isis. Let's talk remember about that, right? The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about and shit. That's right. That's right. This woman that I was first of all, I she you knows she looked like man. Yeah. You you can't be no born no bullshit with her. Like, 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 <laughs> oh man, I was like, man, I, I would have to give up broads and all of that, like, to be, you know what I mean? Like, I would have to be real serious, too. Like, like, yeah, like, but damn, yeah, I was, I, know, I can't front, I was in lightweight love with Lin Q. Everybody loved my videos. sister, man. Like, yo, man, oh man, like, everybody loves Sith, yeah. man. Tell yeah, man. How, I mean, how did she come into the fold? How did you know what I mean? Well, um, when we started recruiting after we had um got the crowns and everything set up in the movement and whatnot, recruitment was all the time. Uh, I mean, you know, PX had a vision for this, you know, black nationalism and hip hop coming together. And now that the clan was picking up energy and you know what we were we know what we were doing with music it was time to find what kind of sisters. Now, before Lynn was Queen Mother Rage. Yes, 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 Queen Mother Rage. Right. Queen Mother Rage. They shouted her out in the, in the, uh, in the chat, too. This, this, yeah. this, my people here. Yeah. Is, look, look, there they go. They, they shouted out right there. <laughs> That's blessed. Yeah, they, and, and her styles were a little bit darker. So I, it, uh, if, if to go to a comic book sense, it would be like the Raven of the Teen Titans at the time. You know what I'm saying? She was like the Dark Powers. And then Lynn was more like the Starfire. You know what I'm saying? She was more, you know, fiery in her approach and lyrics. Rage was more like a Bahamadia, more scientific, you know, poetry on her shit. But um, Lynn was more output. You know what I'm saying? Similar to what light was. I, you know what I'm saying? So um, PX had, she was into club music at that time. That's why a lot of joints on her project were um, house joints or like up-tempo shit. You know what I'm saying? I, and that was architect and I'm producing that project. I, I wanted to take Lynn somewhere else. You know, if, yeah. they let, if they let me do her shit, she would have had like a clan type of production on her shit. And that's like, why I was probably confused and was like what the fuck like, yeah. like you know what i mean like but, <laughs> i would have did something different with land and, and even with rage because i i could have rocked some porter's head style shit with rage mm. you know what i'm saying like you know some other shit and then use trey Danya, who was the sister before rage trey Danya was one of the founding mothers of black watch but she was a vocalist she went on to do stuff with brand new heavies i think um for a time frame but um 
But yeah, but Trey Danya, you know, and I think all of them working together in the lab would have been dope. You know what I'm saying? I just think it was bad management to kind of separate everybody. Like, this is your project. You figure it out, write your bars. We should have been doing like death row. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. everybody come yeah. together and put their heads together. That's what I thought it was going to be. Like, like, Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's bro. That's what I thought it was going to be. I would be very confused sometimes when the continuity wouldn't be the same amongst, um, you know, certain factions and shit like that. Like, like. Yeah, bro. I, I bro, they, they treat me like Zack Snyder, bro. Like, you know, and they was HBO. So. <laughs> they was like too dark, too, too gritty, too gritty. I'm like, yo, me and Rage Rock, Freddy's dead. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Yo, murdered it. PX hid the reel. <laughs> hid the reel because he oh. wasn't on it. And I was like, yo, dog, you know, we this is where we started clashing with that music shit. Like, yo, man, what's up, man? You know, it's like you skip over the production project where the label wants to extend more shit and then you and then you put yourself on an album like you know, like you a star, man. Like, yo, dog, you the ringleader. You know what I'm saying? You the dude saying, yo, lions and tigers and bears, come on, come on and come in. You know what I'm saying? Ah, Van Glorious, all of that. That's that's what the agreement was. You know what I'm saying? Given given a little bit of the poetry that we have in black, given that element on the music, how does that become now a whole project? And we got like six, seven groups that we can put out and just stomp right now, man. You know what I'm saying? We can start learning this equipment, stop renting studio time and build our own shit. You know, so this is this is where we started to fight. And then, you know, in my mind, we don't have no time to be fighting, dog. We here as a movement. Why the hell are we in here arguing like, you know, <laughs> Quincy Jones and, you know, and, and right. you know, and whoever else was in the lab with him? Why are we doing all that? You know, that's not what the fuck we did this for. This was like a bullhorn for what the fuck we do. Now we in the lab trying to figure out what beat goes underneath the founder, the movement, dog. <sighs> Come on, man. You know, I, I, I build on this. In the documentary, you know, I, I want people to know, you know, you know how real it is. We're a family, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? When shit blows up and, you know, shit gets a little bit open, sometimes people lose their head, no matter what kind of thought system you practice or religion or whatever the fuck it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge itself is the, is the, is the, the, the only religion you're supposed to be practicing, really. You know what I'm saying? And when you lose yourself, bring yourself back to a center, my nigga. And, you know, and, and, that's why I broke X Clan up, you know, because um, you know, we we wasn't living the 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 fiber of what brought us together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be for the movement. You know what I'm saying? That made all of this finding some breaks. You know, that's why I wasn't tripping about being a producer of the year and getting the beat machines and all that shit. I was like, yo, I get in the lab, I find some breaks that I could fuck up, man, have the engineer tweak it up, and I'm good, dog. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, I was just playing, you know, with cats, man. You know, shit that we really wanted to do. Like I said, the technology wasn't there for it. You know, that I needed different drum sounds. I hated those drum sounds and drum kits, the doctor rhythm and all that shit, all them ro robotic, mechanical sounds and shit. I hated that, bro. Mm -hmm. I hated that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I grew up off breaks. When I go to a block party and grab the mic, my DJ was the best. So, we I mean, we was going and destroying houses, dog. You know what I'm saying? Just moving around, getting out dips. And I brought that to the movement humbly, uh, you know, in, in a humble status. I don't want that to be challenged when I'm arguing with niggas about, you know, crazy shit. Because on top of it, we got movement problems. Because the movement is growing now. You know, we got at least 100, 200 people every city that we touch <laughs> to manage. And right. and nobody nobody expected that dog. You know what I'm mm. saying? We thinking we get a you know little quiet little moment here and there to hold it down and you know to bring folks when we come and do our little functions and shit, bro. But that became everybody like everybody wanted to get down, <laughs> huh? Everybody, everybody wanted to get down. Everybody, son. Oh, so you know, so, watch. Yeah, bro. So when they saw the sisters, 
in the movement, you know, because you got to put the sisters forward, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, mm-hmm. you gotta show that there's motherhood here. This is not no, no macho, macho gang, you know, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is that, a, this is, is why the Cadillac was pink. <laughs> well, that was really um, a concept that PX had um, for a time machine. Originally, it was called uh, Mer, Mer, Mer Ages Has Been. I mentioned that on um, Ways of the Scale. But the caddy, the five and the nine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the power refinement in the born and the the pimp side of the of the of the caddy itself, the pimping as far as the motivation and not the street value and sense. You know, the pink caddy would stand out better as a as a um like a mascot, so to speak, of what was happening. Like a you know, and it looked deep on the shit. It was up to me. That shit would have been some kind of black truck or army shit or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I, right, right, I, I right. didn't, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, when you do groups, you try to see other people's vision and you don't, you know, you don't trip. You know, I didn't want to own X-Clan. That was a group that I, I invited PX and Architect to join us to be creative. You know what I'm saying? To make it mature. So when he said the thing about the time machine, like how Back to the Future was, and he said, yo, a caddy would be dope, man. He said, make it pink. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just throw cats off because we're not challenged about our masculine side. You know what I'm saying? It's not who won't fuck with us, the, you know, the army, the warriors. If, if the cat, if the car was green, blue, whatever it is. That's why right. I said, Ex- respect my black. How the hell you dis pink? You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't have no challenge about I'm a man. I'm trying to encourage young men to be men and women to be women so we can carry the key of life. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no trip mm-hmm. about no color. Now you see everybody got candy paint and all kind of shit. <laughs> Back then, that shit wasn't popular like that. But there was an era that, yo, if 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 one of the brothers had some paper and was riding down in a baby blue caddy or whatever it was, whatever color he he deemed it to be, that's what that was the chariot. Period. Point blank. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it never was a trip to me. You know what I'm saying? They added on, and then for years later. When people see that car, they instantly think X Plan. <laughs> anyway, Pink Caddy, <laughs> and you think about it. Ah, Van Glorious. It, it kind of brought a levity to, you know, a, a, a comfortable levity to what we were doing because I got a hard voice and hard content that I'm kicking. It needed that relax. The same way that Flay relaxes it with Chuck. Chuck is a very direct, you know, vocalist, very powerful vocalist. So when, when Flav comes in, yeah, boy, you know, such and such and such, it, you know, it, it brings a balance, you know what I'm saying, to what's happening. And PX always brought that balance to me. You know, Lin Q's presence brought a balance to us not looking like, you know, mean Black Panther dudes and shit with crowns on and shit. You know, Mother Rage, you know, the womanhood. I'm seeing we have many sisters in our movie, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have many sisters in our move, and we wanted to make sure that they see the balance because usually with rap and all this other shit is just always dudes and dudes. And this was my argument with PX was like, yo, let Lynn come down and, and get into the ciphers with the guards that, that we build with. Let's loosen it up. And she wanted to do that style. If you see, she went and did that shit with Venom. She wanted that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She wanted that raw grain. And you know, PX was trying to spoil her with what he found her as. Like, yo, do that same house thing, but do it here. Right. And I'm saying, no, give us some raw breaks. Some X Clan. She's here yeah. with X Clan. <laughs> do some X Clan shit. Yeah, bro. That was a, that that was an argument really early way. Back. Really fucking. Like that's back when I probably if 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 y'all would have gave me a good album, I probably would have listened to her album. And I don't listen to females albums like that. But back yeah, then, yeah, yeah back yeah, then. I probably would have. Yeah, it worse. Good. If it if it if it had a, if it had some sort of appeal to me, like you know what I mean? Like I would have banged Lynn's album that. out. I would have banged her shit out, bro. And Queen Mother as well. I told you I had that Freddie's. If me and her had dropped that Freddie's Dead, that would have been like an early version of what like um, Jay Z and Foxy did for conscious niggas. You understand me? Right. That record was hard, hard. If she didn't retire from lyricism, I would have, I would have asked her. I would have been put on some of the stuff that I did throughout the years. You know right. what I'm saying? I would have just said just for the hell of it. 
Right. Because she's an excellent writer, bro. She was an excellent writer. Castle calling her like female grand verb. You know what, what I'm happened? saying? The way what, that happened? She was, what happened to Lin Q? I mean, you said um, she Linda's doing. Fire. She's doing film now. She's doing uh, film now. She, yeah, she's she's um like behind big, the camera. Um, huh? Behind the camera. Yes. Dope. Yes. Yes. Yes, and doing well too. Award winning shit, all kind of thing, man. So. You know, she retired from the Trump spit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so she's doing, she did that. And Mother Rage retired um, as well for music. I mean, yo, because, you know, it, the game's not attractive, you know, for certain writers, bro. It's like a waste of time sometimes when you look at what's on the waves and you think, like, you want to write something and throw it in, in the mud of the foolishness that's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, and not to diss all music. There is some good music out here and I'm not blaming the generation. I'm just, I'm really blaming the program directors for not balancing the shit. I don't expect you to be playing my shit from 90, but if I made some shit in 2010, respect it. If I made some shit now, respect it. If you not dropped a new single, respect it if it's dope and give us right. room to get some program time. If that requires, I know it's airtime. So, if you got five different companies that buy up 24 hours and you don't even give an option to intelligent music to play, you, 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 you've naturally boxed this out. You know what I'm saying? How can I ask you for anything that you've already given to five different production companies that talk the same shit? That doesn't make sense. Thank you, you know Jose what I'm saying? Hollis. I appreciate you. Yay, family. Yay, family. So Lord Jamar's interview with Brother Jay is protected by the red, the black, <laughs> and the green with a key. Sissy. <laughs>